Alright guys, I was at a Walmart nearby a couple weeks back and I got this Chop Magic. So I saw this on TV, I thought it would be a cool thing to try out. So it helps you to slice and dice fruits and vegetables. So I'm not going to show you how it works a little bit. I've washed mine up. So I'm going to turn my camera here. So it's got this giant uh, container portion here. Um, I believe it's four cup storage. Then this top piece, I'll pull it off. Is, uh, it's got a pusher, so you just push it down when you're slicing up the fruit or vegetable. I'm going to cut my hand. This one is the, uh, the slicing blade here. It just goes down when you're pushing it from the other piece, the top piece. I'm going to pull out the uh, dicer. It's the dicing blade, and so I just keep mine, I turn it uh, sideways when I'm storing it. After I'm done. So another guy reviewed this and he said it wasn't too great for the cleanup, but uh, I mean, I'm throwing mine into the uh, dishwasher, so it should get it pretty well cleaned up. I don't think it's going to have any issues, so... I'm going to be testing out an uh, onion and tomato for mine, for my review here. So it says you need to uh, go ahead and cut off the edges of it. Oops, let me get a little different piece. So this is the, uh, the uh, slicing blade. I'm going to be doing that. This is an onion, obviously. Oh, actually, not obviously, because you can't see it. Let me turn it. Just a little bit, camera. So I've got an onion with the slicing blade. So they say just push down. There it goes. Okay, I'm going to pull it up. Now I'm going to try the uh, dicing blade. Tap it a little bit. So I'll give you an idea of what it did. So, actually that's pretty nice to do because I'm, I'm not too great at cutting up uh, fruits and vegetables. Put that to the side a minute. Now let me get my turn. This is the dicing blade now. The other blade they give you. I want to cut up my onion just a little bit here. Make sure it fits. Nope, I need to cut it up one more time. Got it on there. Oh, actually got stuck. Oh man. <clears throat> okay, so this may be a complication here. So it's not actually, maybe I needed to go like a little bit more forcefully, a little bit more rapidly when I did it. Uh, here's what's happened. As it's kind of gotten uh, jammed up. So. Mm. This is just all stuck in there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So basically it's like halfway gone through. So that didn't work out too well. So just give me a sec here. Just going to uh, kind of 
push this down. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go and try out the uh, slicing blade for a tomato. Same thing. So, yeah, it's got some problems here. Need to be worked out. This is really not that great. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to try dicing up the tomato because it's already, it's really clogged up and I can't even do that. So, um, that's about it for my review here. Uh, seems to be great with onions. If you have a couple of onions, you're going to dice up, or excuse me, slice up. And, you know, this stores quite a bit, so you can do, you know, a couple of onions at a time and uh, get those uh, sliced up. You know, it's going to be great. Nice amount of storage. Should clean up fine once you uh, put it through a dishwasher. Uh, you'll probably need a uh, toothpick or an ice pick to try to clean out the dicing blade because it is kind of jammed up. So... That's about it for now. Can't think of anything else. So the net, thanks for watching.